What a something weird slash funny slash embarrassing ya yeah, have done on autopilot? I stepped on a Cheeto and apologized to it. Undressing to shower. I threw my underwear into the toilet instead of the laundry and flushed it. Go to the cinema to watch Quantum of Solace. Walk in 5 minutes late. Furious car chase on screen. Instinctively try to find my seatbelt. Washed an apple at the sink. Dried it with a paper towel. Turned and tossed the apple in the trash and stood there holding the towel like an idiot. I used to work in a factory. Starting at 6am. So I'd have to get out of bed around 5.15 each morning. There was one morning when I got up. Had my breakfast and left as usual. Drove round the corner to the garage where I would buy my lunch. It seemed a lot quieter than usual. But being half asleep myself. It only half registered. Then I got back in my car and noticed the time. I was awake 3 hours early. FML. I went home and back to bed for a couple of hours. Family member or friend calls me. Me. Thank you for calling. Call center job. My name is Dandy Lau. To better assist you may I please have your membership number? Have a good day sir. Love you too. Awkward shuffle out of Panera. Was signing for a parcel on one of those electronic things delivery drivers use. And I wasn't paying any attention. And ended up staring at it for a minute. And then just drawing a straight line on the screen. And handing it back. He was confused. Stopped at a stop sign. And waited at least a minute and a half for it to turn green. Went to the doctor's office. Took off my jumper for a flu shot. Realized my t-shirt was on inside out. Got home. Took off my t-shirt. Realized my bra was inside out. Sigh. I have two kids. And am in the habit of pointing out things I think they're like. Rainbows. The moon. Nice dogs. One day in work I turned to a young male childless colleague. And said area look over there. A cat. Uh, I got a weird look. I was tired at the time. But sat down on the toilet thinking. That the seat was up and just pissed all over the seat. Floor and myself. Not a great thing to do, or clean up at 3am. I work as a housekeeper, and when we knock on a door we yell And when we throw laundry down the chute we yell So those below watch their heads. Anyway, one day I knocked on a door and loudly yelled at our heads. Later that day the back of my mind remembered my mistake and made sure to err a correct But I overcorrected and stupidly yelled oh ro on sir curl up and go down the laundry chute. I've worked as a carriage driver for adults with mental and physical disabilities for more than a decade now. I'm a carriage driver. I do basic cares. Which include helping many adult men do their daily activities. Things like shaving. Buttoning shirts. Making sure belts are on correctly. So on and so forth. Once on a date. I was a bit bust. I fixed my date's shirt. And told him he needed to look in the mirror. And see if he wanted a shave. Sometimes in the shower I fill my mouth up with water and just kind of let it pour out. Was brushing my teeth standing in the bathroom one day. Fully dressed before work. I just let the toothpaste pour slowly out of my mouth. And onto my clothes. As if I were in the shower. Now every time I brush my teeth my boyfriend warns me not to spit all over myself. On the railroad, you can get verbal permission to pass a red signal or flag. Either from the dispatcher or the employee who placed the red flag. You cannot under any circumstances pass a blue light or flag. Because that protects employees working on slash under slash between rolling stock beyond the blue signal. Driving home in the car late one night. I decided to take a shortcut through the local university. I go around a corner and see a blue light marking a police call station. Immediate conclusion. Our ship. Cannot it go that way? Oh. My wife's friend and her husband were leaving after having dinner at our house. As they're leaving, she says love you to my wife. Naturally, I respond love you t. <laughs> yeah. Good night. Started to trim my beard and didn't see the guard was off. Huge swath of beard gone in one swipe. The kids still refer to me during the beardless months as creepy daddy and I'm not allowed to shave it off again. Just today I went to the grocery store. Packed everything into my backpack at self-checkout and went home. As soon as I got home I remembered I never actually paid. Edit. To all those asking if I went back and paid. 
I did. As soon as I noticed, I went back, swiped my card in the self-checkout, and got it over with. Nobody had even noticed. The store is about 300 meters from my apartment complex. For clarification, as to how I got away with it, the self-checkout works by swiping your personal discount card, then grabbing a scanner that lights up. You scan all your items before putting them into your cart slash basket. When you're done, you put the scanner back. Then go to one of the self-checkout registers. Swipe your discount card again to create a bill to pay. Then pay it using your debit card. I did everything except swipe my card and pay. Since I usually do all this before packing everything. Yesterday I was worried if they'd fit. So I wanted to find out first. Put them all into my backpack and then went my merry way without a second thought. Put my phone under a faucet to fill up my water bottle. I recognized my mistake, and then I did it again. My wife says she once ate pizza at a friend's house and, out of habit, threw the crust on the floor for the dog. Those friends didn't have a dog. Always running to catch the subway, after waiting at the crosswalk in front of the station. Casually walking with my friend in the same area yesterday. Started running when the cross sign lit up. He was like WTF. I was sitting in math class one day. And I was just humming to myself while the teacher explained something at the board. She went to turn off the projector, which is next to my desk. Then, still standing next to me, she gives me this weird look and asks, Is something wrong? I had been so deep in thought that I had lost the tune but kept humming. So I was now just humming along. Lone without any change in pitch. So yeah, that was embarrassing. I was feeling an encroaching sickness coming upon me one time. So I decided to be proactive and make myself a couple of days worth of the most baller chicken soup I could manage in advance. So I'd be able to eat well, even when I was dying of the lurgy. I chopped the carrots. I sorted the onions. I stewed the chicken bones. And I cooked that mother lover down for 8 hours into the most delicious stock you could imagine. Then I poured it all through a colander into the sink. Got in my car to buy groceries and drove the 45 minutes to work. P.S. But the actually embarrassing one is when you are a home nurse and you walk into one of your patients home at 9 p.m. expecting them to have milk and bread in stock. I tried putting the milk bottle back in the microwave then got mad when it didn't fit. I only stopped trying cause my brother was there watching and he started laughing. I was looking all over for my keys and finally thought that I might have left them in the car. I went outside and my car was locked. So I pulled my keys out of my pocket, unlocked the door, opened the door and realized how much of an idiot I am. I drove home from Phoenix to Prescott, forgetting the fact that I had moved to Flagstaff about a month prior. Got all the way to my old driveway before realizing my error. Both Prescott and Flagstaff are north of Phoenix, but are about 1.75 hours apart from each other. I kissed my wife's best friend. It was totally innocent and something we laughed about. I had to take a bus to work every day at about 4am. My wife usually drove me to the stop so that I didn't have to leave my car there for 14 hours. My wife's friend was staying with us while she looked for a job and house in the area. She was getting up early anyways, so she decided she would take me and let my wife sleep. When we got to the stop, I just instinctively leaned over and kissed her goodbye. She had a dumbfounded look on her face, and mine instantly turned red as I realized what I'd done. I just said sorry. It was a habit. My wife poked fun at me for days for putting the moves on her friend. I am an ex-bus driver and many times on my way home from work. I would go to pull into a bus stop, in my car. I was getting my car out of the parking lot, heading back home after a long day. Shortly after I started driving, I passed by a car that is identical to mine and thought cool. I found the car I got out of the car to go to the other car. Halfway through I noticed that WTF I'm doing. Looked around hoping to god that no one saw me and then went back on my merry way. Wasn't a proud moment lol. I work with preschoolers and we sing songs to help them wash their hands. And I started singing the same song when I went out with some friends to a bar. Edit. Thanks for the silver. Friend. 
Edit 2. The song goes over wash. Wash. Wash your hands. Wash them every day. Scrub. Scrub. Scrub the germs and wash them down the drain. Uh to the tune of row your boat. Making cookies. I cracked an egg and dumped the contents into the garbage. Thankfully caught myself before putting the shell into the cookies. I lived in the same house for 16 years. Moved out. Years later I did some summer work as a construction worker on my old house. First day I walked in. Mindlessly did what I always did when I came in. Waltzed into the kitchen during the familiar's breakfast. Opened the fridge and peered inside for a long while looking for something to eat. I came to myself. Dude I don't live here anymore. Looked up. And the family was all staring at me from the breakfast table. Forks in midair. At this unknown construction worker making himself right at home. I was so embarrassed I backed out. Stammering the whole time. And trying to have them understand at a rear I'm so sorry I used to live her. Was not allowed inside work at that job site for a while. Was taking my belt off at that sa- And then pulled down my pants. Got to my ankles and was like. Nope. Back up. The pipe underneath my sink was broken so I put a bucket below it to catch the water leaking out. When it was full I poured it back in the sink and proceeded to flood my kitchen. I had recently been attending a lot of marital arts classes at night. One morning at work I accidentally bowed at my boss when I entered his office. This was in the US. Neither of us are of Asian descent. And yes he noticed. It was awkward. I used to work on a farm and we always took our boots off before entering the homestead for meal breaks. One afternoon I absentmindedly unbuttoned my jeans and started to take them off instead of my boots. I guess my brain decided I was done for the day. Trying to unlock the front door of my house with my car remote. Edit. Wow. Platinum. Thanks so much kind stranger. I was working the back line at an arbor's way back in the day. We used to get our sub buns foot long, but all the subs we sold were 6 inch. I literally reached into the bag, grabbed a sub roll, cut it in half, and then put the knife back in the bag and tried to cut another sandwich with the sub bun. My manager saw it and died. 